We're going through a difficult time in the West now when there are serious threats to freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Even a president of the USA can have his tweets censored and you put up a YouTube video, you say something in a blog and you can find it torn down by the various arbiters of what can and cannot be said. People who take it upon themselves to police speech codes. One man who was always a champion of freedom of speech was Anthony Burgess. The vital moment was the Salman Rushdie affair, when Burgess took exactly the right position. And in fact, he wrote his essay on censorship, which is quite difficult to find, defending Rushdie and quite right too. He also defended Hubert Selby Jr. This is a great introduction here to Last Exits to Brooklyn. He discusses the matter of fellatio and anal coition in fiction. He writes as follows. The youths in the first part of Last Exit use the term shit too often for readers brought up on traditional fiction with its periphrasis and authors monitoring. But American youths a particular class do in fact overuse shit. The unedited presentation of the Brooklyn vernacular leads to an equally naked series of descriptions of variations on the sexual act, perversions dignified by sexologists as fellatio and anal coition. The sad and ironic thing about the indictment of Selby's book as obscenity lies in the fact that true obscenity uses literary condiments to inflame the palate. Selby, committing himself from the very first page to an unedited recording, eschews the devices of titillation. Pornography is not made this way.